Hi guys, it's Yesenia, and um, today is going to be a, another tutorial video. Yes, another tutorial. And this time, the look is going to be on something a little bit different. It's a little more dramatic, a little more focusing on the eyes and being more dramatic. I wore this look um, on Friday. I went to my cousin's 8th grade graduation and I did this look. I did it a little more um, subtle when I wore it on Friday but I love the colors. I really liked the idea of a blue eye, kind of smoky eye, and um, a nude lip. So yeah, um, I really liked how this look looked on me when I wore it. No, I didn't wear it Friday. I wore it Saturday. Saturday I wore it to my cousin's graduation party, not the graduation. That's it. Yeah, so I really liked how this look turned out when I wore it on Saturday and I decided, you know what? I really like this look. I think I should share it with you guys. Right? Right? Yeah. So, um, yeah. If you want to uh, see me do this look, keep watching. If you don't, then don't watch. Okay, that is it for now. Goodbye. I'm going to get started. We are zoomed in already. I got my hair pinned back. I'm ready to do my makeup. I already did my right eye. As you can see, this is what the look is supposed to look like. So yeah, I did a little something different this time. Instead of doing my eye first on camera and then doing my other eye off camera, um, I decided to do the, my eye off camera first and then do the on camera eye second. So I know what I'm doing already because my other two videos when I would do my eyes I would kinda like be doing it as I was going you know so this time I know exactly what I'm doing so I can show you guys better. Now uh, let's get started. First I'm going to use the um, soundtrack quad from Bare Minerals and I'm going to use the shade uh, Rhythm right here and it is my going to be my base shade and I'm just going to put that all over the lid and I'm going to use my Eco Tools kind of fluffy brush. Once you have the base shade on, um, the base shadow on, you're going to take the Eco Tools highlight brush, which I don't use for highlight. And we're going to go in with the oy, let's drop it, the Elements Quad from Bare Minerals and we're going to use this orange shade which is called Fire. We're not going to use a lot so just tap, tap off the excess powder and just put that in the crease. Next we are going to take the shade Earth from the same quad and we're just going to Put that in the crease real, real quick with a more tapered highlight brush, shader brush or whatever. Just very light. You don't need a lot of color. Putting so many shades in the crease is going to help the blue blend out so well. So this is all necessary, basically. Next I'm going to take this Eco Tools flat brush, eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to take the shade water right here and I'm going to put that all over my lid. I'm just going to pack that on. We have the blue on our lids and now we are going to take the same brush we used to put that kind of grayish green color and we're just gonna blend the blue. After you're done blending out that the blue, you are going to take what are you gonna take? You're going to take this Eco Tools shade brush. And it's like just a very tiny little flat shader brush. And you're going to go back to the soundtrack Pal uh, quad, and we're going to go in with the shade Remix and just put that in the center lightly. Now that we have that little 
golden area. We are going to take the ColourPop uh, Super Shock Shadow in Birthday Girl and we're just going to use our finger and just tap it lightly on the center. This is just to give the gold color a little more pop, a little more shine, and um, give dimension to the lids. Now we're going to take the flat um, eyeshadow brush that we used for the blue, and we're not going to take any extra product. We're just going to kind of like blend it a little, blend the edges of that gold color. And it should look like this. Now, when you're using blues, blue eyeshadows, you're going to get fallout. And I don't know if you can tell, but I do have a little bit of fallout. So we're just going to take a little uh, moist towelette and just clean up um, under the eyes. Now I'm going to go in with the IT Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner in the shade Slate. Yeah. I didn't even realize there was a sharpener. And we're just going to take that on the outer corners of the eye and um, just put it there like lightly, not even like super nice or smooth or anything. Just like, you know, just to darken the outer edge a little bit. And we are going to go in with this um, Eco Tool smudge brush. We're going to put that in water and just um, smudge out the liner. Well, that kind of softens the liner and kind of blends it out a little bit so you don't have just like a random dark line. Okay, now I'm going to go off camera and do my uh, foundation and concealer because you guys have seen it enough, you know, you know how I do it. I use my beauty blender, the Body Shop Moisture Foundation, and the Naked Skin Urban Decay uh, concealer. Okay? Bye. Okay, so I did my foundation and my concealer and my powder and all that stuff. Now I'm going to do my under eyes. I'm going to take the IT Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof um, eyeliner, gel eyeliner, in Slate, the same one we used earlier, and I'm just going to run that on my under eyes. Now I have my eyeliner, I'm going to take the smudge brush from EcoTools that I used earlier and I'm just going to smudge the bottom. Now I'm going to take the Sephora flat eyeliner brush and I'm going to go in with the soundtrack um, quad and use the shade Remix, this gold color, and just put it like right on the center, very little. You know what, I changed my mind. I put it um, kind of in the inner corners and then just smudged it a little bit. So yeah, it kind of helps do the whole dimension thing like I've said before. Now we are completely done with the eyes. Well, with eyeshadow and eyeliner and stuff. So yeah, almost completely done. You know what I mean. Now I'm going to do the rest of my face and do the whole bronzer and contouring and everything. I'm going to take this multitasker contour brush from Sephora and I'm going to use the Super Shock Cheek Bronzer and Pull Side and just going to, um, bronze a little bit. But right now what I'm doing is I'm kind of like showing where I want to put my powder for contour. Now I'm going to take the Too Faced Sun Bunny Natural Bronzer and I'm going to take the darker side and use that to contour. And I'm using this small Eco Tools brush. Now I'm done contouring and bronzing and all that stuff, and now I'm going to go ahead and apply blush. I'm going to use the Super Shock Cheek Matte Blush in 
bonus, this one, and I'm going to use the Sephora powder brush right here. And I'm just going to tap that in and apply. Now I applied my blush and everything and now I'm going to go and do my eyebrows. And I am using the usual Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. I think I'm going to do kind of like a softer brow look than I usually do. So yeah, let's see how this works out. My eyebrows are done. I think they're looking pretty fly, if I do say so. Now I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to go in with my Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfection, <laughs> Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. You know, one of my faves. And I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk fan brush. Now I'm going to use this Eco Tools shade brush and I'm just going to highlight with the same highlighter on my brow bone and on the inner corners of my eyes. So highlighting is all done and now I have to go change my battery on my camera. Be right. Okay, and now I'm going to put on some brow gel. I'm going to use the the NYX conf I'm going to use the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel uh, just to put my eyebrows in place where they should be. Got my brow gel on, which is making my eyebrows on point. Yes, please. And now. I'm going to do something I don't usually do. I'm going to put on eyelashes. Because I think this look is super nice and super pretty. And if you want to go out or go to an event, some people put on eyelashes. And I actually do want to start putting eyelashes more often because I think fake eyelashes are pretty cool. So yeah, I'm going to apply fake eyelashes, okay? Ugh. I'm using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive Eyelash Glue and it smells like poop. It smells like crap. So you just do that little thing you do with the eyelashes and I'm so scared. I should use tweezers. I'm gonna use tweezers. Because everybody on YouTube seems to love using tweezers when putting on their fake eyelashes. <laughs> I'm good now. Okay, let's put these babies on. No tweezers, okay? Not bad, actually. Okay, I'm going to apply the second lash. I think this one applied a little bit better. Now I have my fake eyelashes on, which is something very new for me. I've only worn fake eyelashes when I've done theater and when it's required for me to do fake eyelashes. So yeah, these aren't the most natural, I wouldn't say, but yeah. So now I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara. I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Mash Mascara, my go-to, my one and only. So yeah. Let's see how this goes. Mascara really helps. Really makes the lashes feel better. Kind of like they're not there. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. You know, I, I need to um, practice my eyelash, eyelash, eyelash. Eyelash. My eyelash putting skills, but, um, this isn't bad. It's not bad. Yeah, not bad. You know, it's, it's a little bit uneven, but you know, 
this is me being real with you guys. I am not an eyelash wearer, um, but I'm going to learn for you guys. And now, um, back to the eyelashes. I'm going to apply the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara like I always do. So all that's left to do is put on some lipstick. I'm going to line my lips first. I'm going to use the uh, NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Natural. I'm just gonna line my lips. We are all lined up. And now I'm going to use the NYX... The NYX? The NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. For this look, I think a nude lip would be good because the main focus is the eyes. Let's put this sucker on. Okay, so lips are done. This is the look. Okay, so this was the makeup look and um, yeah, so if you guys liked it, click like, of course, and if you didn't, then don't click anything. <laughs> yeah, so um, I really wanted to kind of just do something a little more dramatic for you guys because my last looks have been kind of neutral or natural or um, softer, so yeah, uh, I thought this would be a nice change for you guys. And um, yeah, so that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, more videos coming to you through the week. So yeah, um, videos are on Mondays and Thursdays, and if I upload them late, then Wednesdays and Fridays. <laughs> that makes no sense. Then Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, yeah, so thank you, and goodbye. I wore this wore this wook. I wore this wook on what? Nice. I'm going to take the Okay, first I need to zoom you in. Okay, I've just been texting, trying to convince my friend that he should go see Mad Max with me. Cause Mad Max is amazing. Mm.